Tonight, Justice Department officials telling 12 News the suspect accused of targeting and killing retired Wisconsin Judge John Romer should not have had a gun last Friday when sources say he zip-tied and shot Judge Romer inside his home. Given his criminal history, should he have been able to purchase firearms legally? Uh, my understanding is that he was prohibited from legally possessing a firearm based on uh, having been convicted of a felony. Attorney General Josh Call Wednesday in a taping for Upfront. The Justice Department says doctors removed 56-year-old Douglas Udi from life support Tuesday. Investigators saying he shot himself Friday after shooting and killing the retired judge. Do you know how he obtained this firearm yet? We're investigating uh, that issue. It's part of what we're looking into and as we can provide additional information, we will. What type of gun was it? I'm not commenting further yet on uh, issues that haven't been provided publicly. Udi has a lengthy criminal past and believed ties to several other states beyond Wisconsin, including Michigan and potentially Kentucky. Is that flat across the board, no matter what state he may have purchased this in or how he acquired it, he shouldn't have had it? Well, each state's have different laws, but there are also federal laws that prevent uh, felons from possessing firearms. And so, um, you know, how that played out in a particular state would, would depend on state law, but the federal law would, would still apply. In Wisconsin, for example, not all gun purchases require a background check. Now part of a heated debate both across the state and country. Matt joining us once again. Now, law enforcement sources say a hit list with 13 names on it was also found in their investigation. Are officials revealing any new details about that tonight? Toya, they have yet to release those names on that list. Again tonight, officials reaffirming they say they don't believe any threat remains to those names. Sources have said Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, all names on that list.